Well, hi folks, I'm just going to try and explain how I go about trying to stop the problem on tomatoes known as blossom end rot. It's when your tomatoes start to grow and ripen up, and then underneath, sometimes you get a big black mark, and then the tomatoes just start to go manky from the bottom. So I'll try and put a picture in to show you what I mean. Anyway, it's, it was widely believed that the reason that people got blossom end rot was due to letting the compost totally dry out and get really dry and then absolutely flooding flooding the compost afterwards and that was regarded as the only reason that you got blossom end rot but recently it's been established that it's it's actually that possibly and one of the major causes is lack of calcium in the soil lack of trace elements but especially calcium so what I do is I'll show you this bottle I use stuff, some stuff called dolomite lime, which is a calcium magnesium carbonate. So it's not only got the calcium in it, but it's actually got magnesium in as well. You can see it's settled there. And I just water this on. I just, what I'll do, I'll show, I'll show you, it settles. I just shake it up, put a little slug of that in my, in my watering can. Maybe only a, just, just a few drops. This one bottle will last me all summer. And that gives it enough calcium and it hasn't for the last few years to stop me getting any blossom end rot so it is true that it is a lack of calcium because like I say when I've been using this stuff it does stop it and you can also use different sort of calcium bearing things like calcified seaweed you can mix them into your soil and Ian Nocton I know he uses crushed up oyster shells that he feeds to his hens he just adds a few bits of that to his compost which will slowly break down and release calcium too so like I said it's a lack of calcium and or irregular erratic watering that does cause the blossom end rot but since I've started using this stuff like I said there's about two tablespoons in a two litre bottle and I just mix it up give it a quick shake add a glug to my watering can and just water it in once a week and that just t tends to give enough calcium to stop the little tomatoes developing the uh, the black bottoms or blossom end rot it works the same on because peppers can get it as well. Doesn't seem to happen on cucumbers. Cucumbers don't seem to suffer from it, but I know peppers do. But it's primarily tomato. The lack of calcium tends to be a bigger problem in if you're growing in grow bags or just compost, because as we all know that grow bags and the compost these days are just made out of absolute rubbish. So there's no trace elements in them. There'll be no calcium. There might be a tiny bit of lime initially to buffer the the peat if there's any in it. So if you're growing in the soil in your garden in your sort of greenhouse border soil it's probably not a not a big deal the lack of calcium because you probably have calcium in there because it's proper soil so it's just mainly if you're growing in grow bags or pots of compost that uh, it, it is quite beneficial to stick some dolomite in just a quick slurp of dolomite and the extra magnesium is also a tonic too because it stops you getting the magnesium deficiency in the leaves that you see that some people spray with Epsom salts so it stops you getting that so, so uh, there you go that's just a quick tip of what I do to to try and sort of eradicate the problem of blossom end rot so that's about it folks see you later